Hello and welcome to another edition of Telescope Man. Tonight, uh, I'm going to show you, uh, do a little show and tell with you on a couple of two inch eyepieces. Uh, one is uh, kind of a mid priced eyepiece, and the other is very low cost, but both uh, serve a unique purpose in the hobby. So, as we say, without further ado, let's get going on this little show and tell of two eyepieces that are so dissimilar in price that you would probably uh, either stumble across one or the other of them in while you were looking around, depending on what your price point was. But it's very doubtful you would have both of them in your eyepiece bag. But let me tell you, uh, they deserve to be in your eyepiece bag for different reasons, uh, but they're both of exceptional quality for the price point. Exceptional quality for the price point. So the first one I want to show you costs all of $69, brand new. Uh, Marish over at the uh, Agena... Uh, astroproducts.com website if you'll just google uh, Agena A-G-E-N-A Astro Products uh, his site will come up he sells this GSO Superview right here this 2 inch eyepiece okay for $69 $69 is what it is and uh, this eyepiece has about a 65, 66 degree field of view. So it's got a fairly wide field of view. In fact, I can get the entire double cluster and almost the entire Pleiades into this eyepiece all at the same time, you know, without... Uh, going off the edge of the field of view so um, it's great now what do I use this for well when I'm at a public star party and there's a bunch of kids around I'll pop this in because it's you know there's no telling what kids will do at a star party but this gives exceptional views of the night sky for $69. If you take a look at it, glass there, you can see how nicely multi coated it is. Kind of a bluish, dark bluish color. And as you'll notice, it doesn't really reflect a lot of the light, you know, off of it. You're not getting much glass reflection of the light source that's above me into the. Uh, uh, are off of the glass, which tells me the coatings are pretty good. They're uh, not reflecting the light. They're letting it pass through the lens. So I would encourage you to go to his site, look up this uh, GSO 42 millimeter uh, Super View I two inch eyepiece. You can also just Google that. Google GSO Superview 42 millimeter, and you're going to hit a bunch of links that talk about this eyepiece. And you'll probably hit uh, uh, Agena Astro Products uh, site as well. But read up on this one. This is a good one for public observing. Uh, I get a lot of wows with this in the telescope from the general public that happens to be there. It's worthwhile to have in your eyepiece bag if you are doing public observing events or you're a poor astronomer, amateur astronomer with no money. That would be the one I would get for my wide field eyepiece. They also make one, and I believe it's in 32 millimeter, or it might be 30 millimeter. Uh, that would be a good one too from GSO. Now the other one I want to show you is a mid-priced eyepiece. Okay, 
And these used to sell for about $249. I don't believe you can buy them new anymore because I'm not exactly sure if Burgess Optical is still in business. I am not sure of that. Okay, and they picked up the TMB eyepieces from Thomas Beck after he died and continued production on them for a time. But uh, I'm not sure that they're still around anymore. I have seen some posts that indicate they may be no longer in business. I am not sure that is true. It could be completely false. I would just say to uh, at least call them on the phone or do some email correspondence uh, before you buy just to verify that they are still in business. But what I'm holding in my hand is the TMB 40 millimeter Paragon. Paragon. Okay. And I bought this new when they were still uh, producing them. And I've got to say that it's probably one of the most exceptional uh, two-inch wide field eyepieces that I have ever owned. And it's got about a 66, 67 degree field of view. And... Uh, a lot of eye relief. It's got about 15 millimeters of eye relief, so shouldn't be a problem if you wear glasses to use this eyepiece right here. Okay, again, look at the glass in the little webcam. You can see how dark it is. It's not reflecting any light at all. The coatings on this are kind of a dark uh, greenish color. Uh, it's very contrasty on the night sky. Got good contrast. Pinpoint stars, I'd say almost virtually completely across the field of view. And uh, exceptionally good build quality. Uh, it's very substantial. Probably weighs, uh, say, about 1.25 pounds, something like that. One and a quarter pounds. Something like that. Uh, but it's a multi-element, uh, wide field, 40 millimeter. And again, it's called the TMB Paragon. And that, let me spell that for you. P-A-R-A-G-O-N. If you'll Google TMB Paragon 40 millimeter, you'll probably go right to the Burgess site where you can see a picture of these okay on the site now from time to time these show up on astromart along with that gso that uh eyepiece that i showed you a few minutes ago i've seen the gso super view on there for like 45 bucks used and i've seen this tmb paragon on there for 190 dollars used okay so they're still available, I know, on the used market. I am for sure the GSO um, Superview 42 millimeter is still available new. I'm positive because it's still listed on the uh, GinaAstroProducts.com website. So I have both of these in my bag, and they are completely different price points uh, they're pretty close in the field of view this is about the GSO is about 65 degrees where this one's like about 67 or so degrees and they're very close in um, millimeters you know one is 40 and one is 42 so the magnification they give me if I was to swap them out, would be very similar. I use them for different purposes. Uh, with kids, I use the GSO, and they can, you know, put their eye on it or 
lick it with their tongue or whatever they would like to do and no problem and the adults like it because it has good views and then with the club members where we're in a little more controlled environment I'll use the TMB Paragon uh, because with more experienced observers because they know how to not touch the glass on it so with that said, uh, as we usually do, I say I wish you clear skies and keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See you later, guys.